Grace and mercy and peace belong to you, from God our Father, and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's light our candle as we spend a moment around God's Word and lighting a candle, even during a, a, a brief moment or, uh, around the living Word of our God, is just one way to remember that Jesus always is the light of the world. I'm going to show you a picture of someone who has the great privilege of restoring lives. This is a picture of Dr. Robert Morin. Dr. Morin is a plastic surgeon. He, he works out of New Jersey. But there's something very special that Dr. Morin does that about a, once a year or, or whenever it, it works out that arrangements are able to be made, Dr. Morin leads a team. They fly to a different part of the world, to a very uh, desperately poor part of the world. And there they will spend a, a number of weeks Dr. Morin and his team of, of surgeons and physicians, assistants and nurses, and they will concentrate specifically on restoring the faces of children whose faces have been uh, broken in, in any variety of ways. You can imagine that when Dr. Morin and his team, when they arrive, there is a, a long line uh, in the area where they choose to to serve often his team will work six days a week uh, from sunup to sundown sometimes hardly having a, a moment to to eat or, or to get any rest during that time and so the work is challenging the work is hard the work is 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 full of uh, of uh, surprises and, and unknowns. There can be a great deal of stress. And yet, and yet, Dr. Morin and his team find unspeakable joy and satisfaction, often tears once the, the results of the restoration and, and the healing takes place for a child and the child's family. After all, they, they have the high privilege of possessing something that can truly change, change a child's life for the rest of their life. Imagine being on Dr. Morin's team. Imagine possessing something that can change someone's life. Well, according to Jesus, you and I as Christians have such a means. You and I, on our own, our lives were broken, weren't they? In a broken world full of broken sinners, by nature you and I are, are broken as well. But Jesus came to restore us. He became one of us. He came to this earth and he lived the perfect life in our place. He took our every wrong to the cross and through his suffering and death he paid for it in full and then he rose from the dead. And then he took that very good news, that, that very message of the gospel of what he has done and through his Holy Spirit created the miracle of faith in our hearts so that now through faith in Jesus we are forgiven, we are restored in our relationship with our God and that means our life is now different. There is a healing, there is an empty place within us that has been filled with Jesus. And now heaven awaits. But here's something else. That very message that has restored you and me through faith in Jesus, he has placed that very message into your hands and mine so that on behalf of Jesus, we may share that good news with others 
And he, through us, he, through his message, shared by us, can restore lives, restore them forever. Here's another picture of Dr. Morin at work, restoring what once had been a broken face of a child, and this child will now enjoy a vastly better life because of what Dr. Morin has done. For you and me, we get to share the gospel, the ultimate restorer, not only for life for the few years we live on this earth, but forever. The word of God that we consider is from Matthew chapter 18, the words of Jesus, where Jesus tells his disciples and he tells you and me of the great power that you and I possess because we have the high privilege of sharing with others his gospel. I tell you the truth, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.